In this tutorial video, we're going to be importing products into specific folders in a product data source or database. To get started, the first thing we need to do is set up our product database. Um, I've already done that here, and you can see that I've also created the folder structure. We do need to create the folder structure before we import the products. And do pay special attention to the names. Uh, the parent folder as well as the subfolders. These uh, names do need to match exactly the same when we go to import. So let's go ahead and close the product lookup window and let's go ahead and open up our import wizard. Now if you're not familiar with the import wizard you can actually uh, go to our website and look at video number five basic product import uh, on our tutorial videos page. Before we get started with the import, I do want to show you our Excel spreadsheet um, that we're about to import. Now, if you'll notice, I have some columns here with some basic uh, product information, manufacturer part number, description, cost, etc. But do pay attention to folder name. Now, this is a column I've created, and you'll notice that the folder names match exactly as the folder names under the product data source that I showed you earlier. We also want to get some products into the subfolders. This is the format that we need to use. We're going to put the parent folder first, followed by a backslash, and then the name of the subfolder. Now I've already saved uh, this file as a tab delimited text file. So again, let's go ahead and import those. So I'm going to select my file folder export test. As you see it's tab delimited. And I'm just going to match uh, a couple of fields. Alright, now step three is what we're actually concerned with here. Now field 6 contains our folder name. So what we're going to do is scroll down until we find the macro ampersand folder name and then we're going to map it. So now these two are linked together. Now we're going to select the data source in which we want to put these products in and we'll start at row 2. I'm going to go ahead and select the first option. We don't have any products in there yet, so this will be safe. And then we'll say next. We can save these import settings as a template. Uh, we're not going to do that for this example. You can if you like. There's our log file. We can view that if we like. But let's go back to the products. And now you can see all the products I imported. Now we're actually looking at these on the root of the database. But let's go ahead and expand our folders. And now you can see that the items that we mapped are in their corresponding folders. And that's how we import products into specific folders.